we want to take this good old resource and get it onto a USB or a computer. How do we do it? We need three things. We need a bog standard VHS player. If you don't have one, borrow one. You can buy them for $50 or try free cycle, see if you can scrounge one. We need a digital video camera and we need a computer. That's all we need. What we're going to do is we're going to pop the video in there. The signal is going to come from the VHS player and come out of the VHS player using composite leads like those yellow, white and red leads you've seen before. That lead is going in to the video camera and your video camera will have an AV in. Your video camera needs to be on VCR, not what it typically is on camera for recording or in the case of this one it's got a small video card that I can record to. It needs to be on VCR and then the signal is going to leave after it becomes digitised by the camera the signal is going to leave the camera by firewire and come into the computer. So when we press play here, or you'll remember actually on some of these VCRs, when you push that in there it automatically starts the video. You'll see the video start to play on the camera. And I can pause that or stop it. And I'm going to now fire up my, my software. And in this case, I'm going to use Premiere Pro. Here's Premiere Pro. Now I know that the shortcut to capture is F5, but it tells me that here. Capture is F5. Now because I don't want to miss out anything from the start, I'm going to start recording now. And that doesn't matter. When I hit record, I can always trim that at the beginning. So if I hit record now, it's recording and when I press play here it starts playing it's playing there and it's recording here now it doesn't look like it but that's okay it tells me that it's actually recording I can hear the sound coming out And so I can just leave that now to run recording. So it's playing and it's recording. Okay, so now if I press stop here, and I can stop recording here. give it a name I can close this every piece of software is going to be slightly different and here is my video that I can play now you remember it started at the very beginning we were recording nothing and then we pressed play and so there's that video it's in Premiere Pro and so I can edit that, trim it so I'm just going to quickly drag that raw footage over here to create a sequence and now I can slide this across a bit 
until I'll start it there. And in this software, I grab my razor tool and I'll cut that there. And delete that. Move this back over. So anyway, you can imagine I'm going to go through, tidy up my video, and then all I'm going to do is export the video. File, export. I'll export as media. I'm going to export it as MPEG2 because that's a, that's a pretty good file that will play on any device. And when I export that, I'll give that a second to export. Save as a file that I can put on my computer. Or I can use more generic software like Windows Movie Maker. So you can see here we've got the VHS playing. It's playing on the camera there. And in Windows Movie Maker, I'm simply going to import from a device. And I'll import from this camera. It knows it's connected. I'll choose the parts of the video to import. I'll just call this dance. Choose the parts of the video to import the um, third button there. And when I click next, there's that video being imported now into Windows Movie Maker. But I have to click import. Okay, so just let that run. When you're finished running, click finish. I'll press stop on the um, on the VHS. Here's the file that's just imported into on this Windows device into Photo Gallery, and if I pop that on the desktop just for now, and then close Photo Gallery back here in Windows Movie Maker. Drag that file onto the stage, and there it is there. So you can see there that I can now edit that, put it up on YouTube, put it on a USB, do something with it. It's not that hard really. Good luck.